Hey friends and fam, welcome back to the channel. This week I decided to give myself a little bit of a challenge. When I used to work in an office, I would often prep my lunches the Sunday before the work week and then have them all set and eat the same thing throughout the week and I was fine with that. But now that I've been working home for a long time, I find myself kind of floundering at lunch trying to figure out what I wanna have out of the fridge of many, many options. Um, and when it comes to dinners, I'll plan four or five meals for the week, but nothing is set in stone as far as what we eat which day. Sometimes we're like, eh, we don't feel like it, so then we don't eat that. So I decided I wanted to go kind of hardcore and prep all of my food and eat the same things throughout the week this week. So possible that. <laughs> Yeah, sung it. Now, to eat the same thing for seven days in a row, I felt like was a little much, so I broke it into two chunks. I would eat the same breakfast, lunch, and dinner for four days, and then the same breakfast, lunch, and dinner for three days. For the first four days, my plan was to have a protein shake after my workout, and then for breakfast, I was gonna have a chickpea avocado smash sourdough toast. For my lunches, I was going to have a copycat of the Yard House Garden barbecue salad. And for dinners, I was gonna have a homemade seitan, broccoli, and chickpea Alfredo pasta. I chose each of these meals for their high protein content. My goal for this week was not to worry about calories. I wasn't looking for a deficit. I was strictly looking to try to get more than the 50 or so grams of protein I was averaging per day eating through my normal habits. I'm not sure exactly how filling these meals would be, so I am gonna allow myself to grab a piece of fruit or a handful of cashews or something along those lines if I do feel really hungry in between meals. As far as drinks go, I wasn't gonna have any major restrictions. I was just not planning to go out and buy a Starbucks or anything like that, but otherwise, if I felt like having a coffee one morning, I would have a coffee at home. If I felt like having a Diet Coke, I would have Diet Coke and then obviously drink my water. Of course, everything is going to be measured out and tracked in chronometer so I can see exactly what everything comes out to as far as my protein goals. To kick off the challenge on a Saturday, I decided to do all of my meal prep so that I could start with my first meal on Sunday morning. All right, so today I'm just gonna do a little bit of food prep to get started with the seven days tomorrow. Mm Prep for lunch and breakfast was pretty easy. For breakfast, I just portioned out the chickpeas for the four days, since I can't really do anything with the avocado or the toast. Um, and then for lunch, I just portioned out everything that I'm gonna need to kind of complete the salad other than the lettuce, and then I'll be cooking the chicken that goes on top, so not too bad. The dinner prep is a little more extensive in that I need to cook the seitan and make the Alfredo sauce. So I'm gonna get started on that. Good morning. It is day one of the seven day challenge. I'm gonna get started with a quick workout. Um, I'm still not feeling really great from having had COVID, but 
Um, I figured I'm not going to wait because I don't know when some of these symptoms are going to go away. So I still have a little bit of like congestion and a cough and things like that. But um, I'm really excited to finish up the workout. I'll have a protein shake. Then after I take a quick shower, I plan on getting started on breakfast. I'm really excited for the meals today. I haven't had any of these before. so. Hopefully I like them uh, because I'm going to have to eat them for the next four days, so let's see how it goes. Avocados overripe. Time for lunch, and can I say this salad looks freaking amazing? I can't wait to try all the different flavors in it. It's really good. This is a copycat of a salad that they sell at Yard House. Um, they have Guardian chicken there, which is really awesome. So there's vegan options. Um, so yeah, I just recreated what they have there based on their ingredients. And it's awesome. And it's huge. That's what she said. <laughs> The end of day one I figured I'd do a quick confessional style video um, I didn't film when I was eating dinner because I was with the fam and um, you know didn't want to do that while I was eating with them but dinner was awesome right now I feel like I could eat those three meals for the next three days so um, day one went really good we will see how I feel tomorrow so it's the end of day two um, it was a good day. I kind of thought I wasn't going to feel the food when I went to eat some of it today, um, particularly the lunch, um, but it was nice not having to think about what I was going to eat or what I'm in the mood for. It was just kind of like, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to eat what I've got. So um, yeah, it was kind of nice. We'll see how well I tolerate it on day three. It's the end of day three. Um, Today went really well when it comes to the food. I wasn't sick of eating the items at all. Um, if anything, I probably feel like I might be tired of the pasta for dinner tomorrow, but um, it is really nice not having to think about what I'm gonna eat. It's pre-planned, it's there, that's what I'm eating. Um, I did realize today how much I want a stress snack, but I didn't do it, which is good, but yeah, so we'll see how tomorrow goes. It's the end of day four, and I'm pleasantly surprised. I cannot believe how much I've enjoyed not having to worry about what I'm gonna eat. I don't know that I would still wanna eat the same things for more than four days. I could probably go another day or two, but I really like not having to, to pick what I'm going to eat, so tomorrow's day five when I'm going to prep the next set of three days worth of meals, and we'll see how the rest of the week goes. So far, it's been pretty easy, which is really surprising. So the first four days went fantastic, and the meals that I had each day yielded me 102 grams of protein, which was outstanding. For the last three days, my meals were going to be for breakfast, my tofu scramble with breakfast potatoes and spinach. And then for lunch, I was gonna be having some quinoa, some garden chicken strips, and some chickpeas along with a side salad. And then for dinner, I decided to go a little nostalgic. Back when I was a kid, we used to eat a lot of white rice, kidney beans, and some ground beef. So I will be having some ground beyond beef, some kidney beans, and some jasmine rice. 
it's day four and there's not a ton that I can prep ahead of time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make my breakfast for today and that's gonna be the same breakfast today, tomorrow, and Saturday. And that is gonna be the tofu scramble that I love so much. All right, so I am getting ready to make lunch. Um, my lunch for the next three days is going to be some quinoa with some chickpeas and some plant-based chicken strips as well as a little side salad. Um, for the side salad, I'm just gonna mix some greens and some um, spinach and put that with some of the toppings I had um, some, to add some crunch. And I'll probably use the barbecue sauce because I still am kind of in the mood for the salad that I was having the last four days. So I'm gonna go ahead and whip that up. I'm gonna make enough quinoa for today and the next two days and just package that up so it's ready to kind of dump together tomorrow. All right, so I'm done making lunch. This is probably the least colorful lunch I've ever made in my life, aside from the salad. Um, but I've also got portioned out for the next two days my quinoa, my chickpeas, and my salad toppings. So um, all I'll have to do is cook up the chicken and then assemble everything for the next two days to make it easy. All right, it's dinner time. And for dinner these next three days, I'm gonna be having white rice, uh, some ground beyond beef, and some kidney beans. So I'm gonna kind of spice that up as best I can. Um, so I'm gonna prep the rice and the beef for the next three days, and the beans actually. I'm gonna cook everything today and then uh, parse out the two portions for tomorrow and the next day. All right, dinner's ready. I've portioned out for the next two days and I'm gonna give this a quick try and then go have some dinner with the fam. Really good. Pro tip, I use vegetable broth instead of water when cooking my rice, and it gives it a really nice flavor. End of day five, um, went really well. The meals were pretty good. Lunch was a little bland. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> Lunch was a little bland, uh, which kind of sucked, but that's okay. Um, I can't change it up tomorrow, so um, I may not mix the salad with the quinoa stuff. I don't think that was the best idea, but I was trying to get some flavor in there, so I may add some more seasonings, which is perfectly acceptable. But um, dinner was really good. I'm glad to be in the home stretch with two more days left, but I still feel like it's very doable. And I'm still like really happy about not having to figure out what I'm going to eat. So. At this point, I feel like this is something I might continue, but we'll see how I feel come day seven. All right, so it is the end of day six. Um, it's a pretty good day. Breakfast was fine. I, I enjoy that breakfast. I could probably eat that every day. Um, lunch, I cooked the chickpeas this time and did a few little spices and things like that and that was much better than it was the other day and I also ate the salad separately instead of mixing them together so that was good and then dinner was fine um it's getting a little old as of today but overall pretty good and only one more day left to go I found that breakfast, I was fine. I could probably eat that tofu scramble forever. Um, but when it came to the lunch, the first day I prepped it, as you saw, it was very bland and very just kind of all beige on my plate. And it was not really enjoyable at all. And as far as nostalgia, some things should just stay in the past. It was fine to eat the rice and the kidney beans and the ground for one day, but by the second day, I just really didn't want it. And the third day, I was a little like, Bleh but I was able to kind of choke it down and get through the challenge successfully, which I was really proud of myself for. I think it's really a matter more of what the meal is than anything else. So I am gonna do this again, but what I decided to do was I took my kind of notes and observations of my experience and I'm gonna be making some changes. I'm gonna plan for three days of eating the same meals and then another block of three days eating the same meals and then I'm gonna give myself a free day. This way I can kind of choose what I wanna have that day as my little choose your own adventure. Now I'm not gonna call this seventh day a cheat day or anything like that because I'm not looking to go hog wild on that day and eat like thousands of calories and eat all kinds of 
junk, but it's just something where I can kind of choose something I wanna eat that I've been in the mood for or maybe hankering all week. I set my monthly improvement goal for July to get to a certain amount of protein per day because I'm trying to work on building some muscle. I'm not gonna concern myself with a caloric deficit. I definitely do still want to do a little bit of recomposition and lose some of that weight, but I'm gonna focus a little bit more on the muscle side and see how that goes through the month of July. If you haven't tried pre-planning or pre-prep of your meals, I highly recommend it. I'm really looking forward to not having to think about it and worry about what I'm gonna eat. It's all pre-planned and ready to go. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what the results yield. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.